Hey everyone, Zablor here. So today we're going to talk about Bast and um, continue our Deity series. What are we on, like four? I think this is four. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Bast is the feline goddess who mothers the king and destroys his enemies. Her name probably means she of the ointment jar. Her main cult center was at Bubastis in the eastern delta. As the Eye of Ra who protects her father, she was a manifestation of the solar eye. Bast was regarded as both the daughter and the consort of Atum Ra. Their son Mahis, Mihos, uh, depending on the spelling, was a lion deity. He's also associated with Sekhmet, but that's because of the conflating stories between Bas, Sekhmet, and Tefnut. Uh, I believe Mahis was also associated with Tefnut. Bast herself is generally known as a cat goddess today, but originally she was the lion headed woman until the end of the second millennia, when her cat form kind of became more prominent. From the pyramid text onward, Bast has a double aspect of nurturer and terrifying avenger. avenger. It is this darker aspect that is mainly featured in the coffin text in the Book of the Dead and in medical spells. The slaughterers of Bass were said to be, the, uh, were said to conf inflict the plague, and other disasters upon humanity. One spell advises pretending to be the son of Bast in order to avoid catching the plague. Bass may be the poisoned cat who is cured by Ra in a myth alluded to in another healing spell. A 12th century text compares an Egyptian king to Sekhmet when he smites his wrongdoers, when he smites wrongdoers, and to Bast when he protects his loyal subjects. The contrast between these two goddesses became expressed visually by the lion-headed form and the cat form. Sekhmet being she of the red dress with the lion form and Bass being she of the green garment, the green dress in her cat form. Bast was also one of the goddesses associated with the distant goddess. As I said, she's conflated with Tefnut as well. Uh, as the daughter of Ra who quarrels with her father and retreats into the desert. She was particularly identified with the form of this goddess known as the Nubian cat who could be shown with the body of a spotted cat and the head of a Nubian woman. A god, usually Tehuti or Shu, persuades the wandering cat to return to Egypt, where she is transformed into a compliant and fertile divine consort. Sorry about the noise, guys. Um, it's actually got hailing. It's a hailing storm right now. I should probably be doing a uh, story on set, but we chose Bast. <laughs> Some scholars have interpreted this myth about the taming of female sexuality. According to the Greek writer Herodotus, however, women were freed from constraints during an annual festival at Bubastis. They celebrated the festival of the goddess by drinking, dancing, making music, and displaying their genitals. The erotic reputation of the followers of Bast is reflected in the story about Prince Setna, composed in the later 1st millennium BCE. Setna encounters Tabubu, the beautiful daughter of a priest of Bast, and instantly falls in love with her. Tabubu agrees to meet Setna in the house of Bast in Memphis. Before she will sleep with him, Tabubu makes the infatuated Setna sign a deed, giving her all his possessions, allows her to kill his kids, and feed their bodies to cats and dogs. Like his children, not like goat kids, like his children. Setna is about to embrace Tabubu when he finds himself alone and naked on a public highway with a giant erection. It has been... <coughs> A dream, an illusion, all this time used to punish Setna for stealing a magical book, for, book from a tomb. In this story, the irresistible Tabubu may be the manifestation of Bast herself, playing her traditional role of punisher to humans who have offended the gods. Now, in the story of Setna Kemswaset, Tabubu says, I am not a low woman, I am not a prostitute, so... A lot of the ideas of sacred prostitution um, surrounding Bast seem to be based upon this one story, this one myth. And the story itself is used as, it's supposed to be punishment. Tabubu's not out to prostitute herself, to sell herself for, for possessions. She's out to take everything he has, including his children, by killing them and feeding them to cats and dogs. 
So I don't take this story to mean prostitution. She says herself in the story, I'm not a low woman. You can't buy me. If I'm with you, I'm with you, and we're going to start this life together, basically. So and that's just how I interpret it. Now, um, a couple of different names for Bast for the titles of those of you who like to use her titles and chants. I like to do that, too. We have... Uh, Iret and Ra, the Eye of Ra. Nebet per Bast, the Lady or Mistress of Bubastus. Nebet Anktawe, Mistress of Anktawe. Anktawe was actually another ancient city. Nebet Pat, the Lady of the Sky. Nature Aat, Greatest Goddess. And of course I have a uh, chant, a prayer, however you want to uh, say it. It's going to be a nighttime prayer for my theist friends. Uh, for those of you who wish to say a prayer to Bast or ask for her protection, this might be a good idea to say before bed or before making a protection bath or, or something in the name of Bast, okay? Here we go. Mistress of all the gods, you open the movements of Shu, for he is your messenger. You slaughter with your arrows, you slay the evil one and seize the hearts of the wicked foes. Lady of the Shrine, foremost of the sacred fields, Mistress of Perfume, Mistress of Joy, O Eye of Horus, O Eye of Ra, Uraeus whom Ra loves, protect me, us, until the dawn. So, you know, I thought that would be a nice little thing that you can say while taking a spiritual bath uh, for protection or maybe do a nice little prayer before bed. I don't know. It's up to you how you want to use that. As always, I view Celebrating the Egyptian Gods by Sharon Tut Laborde. Um, she's the author of Following the Sun and Circle of the Sun. Those are the books I always recommend for my budding baby comedics. Um, I've also used Egyptian Mythology, A Guide to the Gods, Goddesses, and Traditions of Ancient Egypt by Geraldina Pinch. Uh, you can find those books on Amazon or Lulu for Sharon's work. And yeah, so I hope, as always, this has been enlightening. That's it for tonight, guys. Sun up, day.